Today I'm going to share with you about the American artist Morgan Russell. He was born in New York during the year 1886. Before becoming the painter and sculptor he is known for, Morgan originally set out to be an architect. In 1903, Morgan met an individual by the name Arthur Lee, who introduced sculpture to him. He decided to take up studying sculpture at the Art League. Fast forward in three years, and Morgan has traveled to Paris, where he came to study art. <clears throat> Eventually, Morgan returns back to New York to study painting at the New York School of Arts. Continuing to hop around, he comes back to Paris, and this time around, he meets someone named Stanen MacDonald Wright. The two started developing a friendship and collaborating on different projects. As young artists, the two started working together on developing theories about color, coming up with synchronism, synchronism, meaning with color. Synchronism was the act of painting music through the rhythm of the beat in an abstract way. This movement completely innovated the abstract art genre. I want to talk to you about four different paintings done by Morgan Russell. The first piece is a bright, vibrant arrangement of reds, or red, yellow, and blue discs rolling throughout the composition, kind of like frisbees in the air, giving the artwork a sense of openness. Um, the piece is titled Cosmic Tsukrami, measuring at 13 by 16 inches. It was created between the years 1913 and 1914. This next one is called Synchromistic Nude, estimating the cost between $100,000 and $150,000. The dimensions of this piece span 25 inches by 19 inches. Morgan is known for starting the synchromism movement but his works largely are based on the human figure. In fact, this piece was one of Morgan's first tichromic works, making it an important piece to the movement. The piece has placed him at the forefront, or placed him at the forefront of the modernistic development due to the colorful abstractions in the piece. This next painting is titled Seachromy in Orange to Form. This painting was large. It was 10 feet by 11 feet. So it was William C. Agee, a scholar of early American modernism, deemed this piece of Morgan's to be his very best. Completed in 1914, the piece is purely abstract, a non-representational painting with a large range of wildly colored geometric forms. The fourth and final painting is another painting titled Seachromy. The painting was worked on between the years 1913 and 1914, with the dimensions of 18 by 15 inches. This piece has, color, has colors fanned out across the whole composition, comprised of primary colors complemented by shades of oranges, pinks, and violets. There is no true subject or object within the artwork. There's not much development within the foreground and background, making the colors the real content of the piece. This concludes my presentation of Morgan Russell.